Hello and welcome to Mr. Thompson's Math Tutorials. Today we're going to be talking about dividing fractions by whole numbers. So let's start with this. Here's my fraction, which is uh, 1 half, and here's my whole number, which is 2. And just like any division problem, I'm asking how many of these are in that? How many of the divisors are in the dividend? So I've got a little drawing over here to show you um, some of the concepts that we're doing. Um, so let's start by finding our dividend. So our dividend is this one half, which is right here. I'm just coloring it in with yellow. And my divisor is the whole thing right here that I'm circling. It's the two holes. So I'm basically asking how many groups of two are in one half. Now I can tell that there's not a full group of two in one half. So that means that there must be a part of a group. But how much of a group is one half of two. So let's look at that. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to convert these into fractions by splitting them apart. And I know that this is one half right here, this is one half right here, this is one half right here, and this is one half right here, which tells me that two is actually four halves. And I'm still asking the same question how many groups of four halves are in one half? Now, there's not a full group, but there's a part of a group. My full group is four of these one half, so it's four. And my group that I have is one. So I can see that this, that one half divided by two is actually equal to one fourth. Okay. Let's look at this in a different example. Let's say I'm looking at three halves, sorry, three fifths divided by six. So again, I'm asking how many groups of, of 6 are in 3 over 5. And I can tell that there's not going to be a full group. But there's going to be a part of a group, and let's just see how much that would actually be. So I'm going to start by making my 6 into a fraction by putting 6 over 1. And then I'm going to convert them into like fractions. So I'm going to do 3 fifths, and the lowest common denominator would be fifths. Um, and this is going to give me 30 fifths. Multiply 1 times 5, that gives me 5. I'm going to multiply 6 times 5 to get my 30. So, my question now becomes, how many groups of 30 fifths are in 3 fifths? And there's definitely not a full group, but there's a part of a group there. Now, I need 30 fifths to be a full group, but I only have 3 fifths. And this is why... 3 fifths divided by 6 is equal to 3 over 30, or 1 tenth. I really have 1 tenth of a group of 6 in 3 fifths. Thank you for watching.